just I, I love having a furry friend around me at all times. It's just something I've always liked. He's kind of like that caring friend that doesn't say anything. You just sit there and you can talk to him. Be all silly with him. I mean, what's not to like about them? It's you get dogs at school. It's not something you see every day. It's a great enjoyment to have them around, just even in between classes. Just walking from one class to another, you can cheer a kid up. Dogs understand emotions. Like if you're crying, my dog does it all the time. Like I'll be at home, I'll be upset comes right up to you like they understand feelings they're very smart dogs dogs are very smart I, I mean there's some days where it's like I don't feel like talking to my counselor I don't feel like talking to I mean I have plenty of help that's available but there's days where I just want boomer <laughs> I just want him he, he brings like a different kind of peace to the room so you don't have to talk to him he, and he never complains so it's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect for a girl. He's like the perfect boyfriend. These are my best friends. Like, Boomerang especially because he came first. And um, every day at school, you know, I get off the van, I see him and he's like so happy. He starts like rearing up like a horse. And like, you know, Ken has to calm him down, but he's like so sweet and he doesn't ever like hurt anybody. And like, I don't know, it was just like so perfect. And he looks so loving. He has like those loving eyes, and Cobalt does too, you know? It's just something about like the way that they come to me like right away. And they'll, they'll lick my face or whatever. And Kobe will sometimes bite my ear like he was just doing a little bit ago. And they just make me happy. I, lo I just love having them around. Well, some people don't listen to what you have to say. And that's okay, but. Like dogs, they obviously don't know exactly what you're talking about. They don't speak human. <laughs> but it's nice, like right now, I'm comfortable talking to you because I have a dog right next to me. There's times where I'm really sad and like I'll sit by myself and I won't even worry about Boomerang and he'll come over to me and he'll lick my hand or something. And like I feel like he understands that I'm upset and so that's a different relationship without me having to tell him because it's like dogs sense things that humans, I mean humans sense it too but like sometimes they really don't care and dogs really don't have the that like oh I don't care switch so like it's really really nice to have someone who you know is going to care about your feelings no matter what. Sometimes I don't need a friend in school to talk to, sometimes I just want a dog and we have two great ones so. They really care, and like whenever I look at them and I see that they're looking back at me, they I, I can just see that they care and they they know that I'm talking to them. It's not like uh, like some people just don't even care. I, like every time I see him, he always wags his tail and he gets kind of happy. I don't know if he does that with everybody or if he just recognizes me or what, but I just feel like we're friends. Like. I don't know, we're just, we're friends. When I asked him what it was about a, a dog that connected with him, he said, well, a dog isn't gonna judge me. Um, a dog isn't gonna look at me and see that I'm, I'm broken or that I'm weird. And he just loves me for who I am. For me, it, it gave me um, a chance to see that there's so much potential in, in what we're doing with the dogs.